Today I'll teach you how to save file to SQL Server database using file upload control in HP.NET. So let's start. This is SQL Server Management Studio and you can see the database script file which will be used to create the database and as well as the database table. This script can be downloaded from the article and also I have placed the link in the description. So the next thing is to execute this SQL file. As you can see the database has been created and also the table has been created. The table has four columns ID, name, content type and data. ID will be the file ID name is the name of file content type is the content type of the file which is like jpg png and pdf data is the actual binary data that's it from the database now i am moving to the visual studio where first i'll add the connection string So now the connection string is ready. Let's move to the ASPX page where we'll start the programming. So first I am adding an ASP.NET file upload control. Below that I am adding a button. The button will be used to upload the file. I am adding an on click event handler to the button. As you can see, I am making use of ASP.NET label control. Now let's move to the code behind where we'll write code for the uploading part. So here first I am adding the namespaces. The first one is system.io which will be used for file processing. The second one is system.data which will be used for data table. The third one is system.configuration for accessing the connection string from the web.config file. The fourth one is system.data.sql client which will be used for ad.net operations. So now I am adding the event handler for the button. So first I have created a variable for file name. Here I am using path.getFileName function because sometimes in old browsers the fake path or the path of the local folder is set in this property. The second one is content type. The next thing I am doing is creating the object of the stream class to which I am setting the posted file dot input stream object of the file upload control. Then I am making use of binary reader class to read the binary data from the file upload control. As you can see. I am passing the stream class object to the binary reader object. The input stream is actually the stream object of the file and it will be converted into byte array using the binary reader class. When we want to save a file data in binary format in the database, we need to make use of byte array object. The input stream is converted into byte array using the read bytes function of the binary reader. The read bytes function accepts the content length property. The content length property holds the length of the stream. The next thing I am doing is reading the connection string from the web.config file.
then I have created the SQL connection object using the connection string. Now I am writing the insert query which will be used to insert the file data into the database table. I will be passing three parameters. The first one is name. The second one is content type. And the third one is data. I am not passing the ID as the ID will be automatically generated in the database. The next thing I am doing is creating the SQL command object to which I will pass the SQL query and the SQL connection object. Now I am adding the parameters to be passed to the SQL query. The first one is name to which I will pass the file name. The second one is content type. The third parameter is data to which we will pass the byte array. So the final task is to open the connection then call the execute non query function and then close the connection which will execute the query also insert the file into the database. And then the message of successful file upload will be set in the label. So finally our complete application is ready. Now we can run it and see it in action. So as you can see the file upload as well as the button is visible. So I am selecting file and I will click on the upload button. The file has been uploaded successfully in the database table. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.